Hello everybody, it's uh, Mr. Mendy Music here, and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to use Fruity Loops. We're going to open up a file I already have. Okay. As you can see, I have a few things open. I'm going to close those out. <coughs> you like the A, so you represent Atlanta. Okay. Um, if you're doing a rap tutorial, first of all, you want to put the pan at 95. Preferably uh, uh, 90 to 100. So, you know, I just choose 95. This is your uh, library where all your sounds go to make a beat. Okay. I'm sorry I can't play them for you right now because you couldn't hear them. I'm um, having some issues. But yeah, that's it. Kick, you know, claps, snare, hi hat, everything. I have everything here, loops. And you can adjust how long you want it to be, you know, by here scrolling up and down. I had it at four. <coughs> Uh, your swing, as your beat plays, the higher your swing is, the more, uh, you know, swing it's going to have. It's, sorry, it's, um, it just, as it, as it plays it, it's going to stop at some points just to make your beat a little better, swingier. You'll see, you can try it out. You can do this as we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's, that's your library right there, okay? Let's go to piano. Piano roll. You can just click this piano thing up here right there. Or you can right click on any one and just go to piano roll. <clears throat> here you have your piano roll. Scroll up and down. You have a lot of uh, notes you can play. Low notes, high notes, you know. It's basically a piano. You can use your you can have you can use your keyboard, like your letters, you just see how that goes for you. Or you can have a actual piano, like USB or whatever the fuck you do and just use that um you know high notes low notes you can make a little beat on the piano which you know it can be really useful okay that's piano this is your library i know i call this the library but i call this a library too but this is where you get all your sounds from to put over here i keep a folder on my desktop called fl sounds which you know i put all my sounds on it that i've downloaded you know like effects you know I'm gonna take one what you do is you click hold it and drag it and put it onto here careful not to replace another one that's gonna be orange right there just put it on the bottom let go and it's gonna be right there but I don't want that so I'm gonna delete right click delete okay close everything out because I don't need that I like my stuff organized I'm not gay uh X out of that now just showed you that Here's the mixer. What you want to do in the mixer, it can come in handy. It's probably not for beginners. Uh, it, it can be useful. What you do is you you select one of these channels, and you have a lot, actually. You know, it goes really far back if you need them. But, yeah, you select one of the channels, and you're going to right-click. Actually, never mind. Sorry about that. Uh, click one of your sounds, just so this comes up. Right-click one of your channels, link selected channels to this track. What that's going to do is that's going to make the, uh, the the sound on that track. Once you play the sound, you know, it's going to show here. Okay. I already have some right there. Um, another thing is uh, on the mixer, you select that. And this right here is what changes it, uh, the sound of it. And I'm sorry I couldn't play the sound. I'm having some issues. You, the, the higher the first part goes, the, the more bass I guess it's gonna have. Any any sound you do, a snare or a clap or anything. But if you make it lower, it's gonna have a a uh, little high pitched sound. Make the back higher, it's gonna have a high pitched sound. Lower, you know, it's gonna make it more bassy. Uh, you understand that concept? Okay. Back to the library one second. This, this is uh your which which uh side of the um speakers or headphone you want it on, like the left side or the right side, the sound. If I put it all the way on the right side, it's gonna play only on the right headphone or speaker. I'm gonna right click reset that. The th one on the right is the volume of that particular sound. Reset. This green right here, you select it and you deselect it. If you don't want that sound playing, if you want to mute it for a second just to listen to something else, you just click that so it's not green anymore. You can listen to anything else. 
Okay, say you have too many channels, but you want to just listen to one without actually selecting them all. What you want to do is you want to hit Control and then click the one that you want to hear, like this one right here. Control, that. Redo it. Control, hit that again. There you go. That's basically all you need to do on that. The, hmm, the song, okay, the actual song itself, what you're going to do is each pattern, which is changed right here, you're going to make a pattern on that and a beat. You can put the pattern on here, this part of the place, or here, you know, however you want. Right click to delete on everything. And I have mine right there. Here's pattern one, pattern two, which is my main automation, which is the, what's going to be playing out throughout the whole song, and pattern three. Um, that's what I have so far. This right here, if you hit song, then you play the song. If you hit pattern, you hit play the pattern. So, yeah. And I think I've covered everything, you guys. Uh, this is Mr. Many Music. You guys, please subscribe and have a nice day.